Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. This is AmpleSound's newest virtual instrument, Ample China Zheng, the third in their line of traditional Chinese instruments, the first being Ample Cloud Percussion and the second being Ample China Pipa. While this isn't the type of instrument I normally review on my channel, it's possibly one of their most important because it's a sign of some major changes and improvements that will be going into their other instruments. But first, Let's do the usual and listen to the sounds while I talk about its features. The zheng, or sometimes called the guzheng, is a zither-like instrument tuned to the D major pentatonic scale and spanning four octaves. The player wears picks on the fingers of one hand and nothing on the other hand in order to produce two different tones. Ample China zheng comes with 12 key switchable articulations. The first is sustain, found on C0. It has a gorgeous harp-like sound with a bit more of a nasal quality to it. The instrument plays and sounds more like a harp than a guitar. You'll notice that I'm able to play by semitone or chromatically because the instrument is in keyboard mode by default. C sharp zero triggers natural harmonic. These notes can also be played chromatically. Then you have tremolo on D2. Which has a beautifully expressive shape to it both in dynamics and speed. The sample has seamless looping, which means you can play it forever without noticing the loop point. Another cool thing about it is that your note velocity determines the start time of the tremolo samples. So a soft velocity would trigger a slow attack with a flatter expression. and a higher velocity would trigger a fast attack with a more dynamic expression. Notice how natural the transition from sustain to tremolo or tremolo to sustain is. I've been asking AmpleSound to add tremolo to their future guitar libraries. Wouldn't that be cool? D-sharp triggers the right hand samples, specially made for Glissandi. These samples sound brighter than the normal samples because they use picks. Notice a difference. It has a really cool function in Gliss mode, which I'll cover shortly. In the meantime, I'll show you the short glissando articulations found on E0 and F0. E0 triggers up glissando, which is simply when the player strums across the strings. F0 triggers down glissando. These are nice little phrases you can add between the notes in your melody to improve your performance. Next are the bend articulations. These are non-latched, meaning they will trigger once, then change back to the sustain articulation. F sharp is full bend. G0 is bend up. G sharp 0 is bend down.
A zero is tap. And A sharp zero is vibrato. These can be triggered before or after a note is played. And lastly is a lick's articulation on B0, which contains 58 beautiful phrases. I won't play all of them because I won't have time on this video, but I'm gonna play a few of them for you. These are absolutely stunning. I love it. And on the right side of the playing range are the special effects and body noises. ACZ was recorded with five mics, a first for Ample Sounds instruments. It comes with four microphone settings. All, which you just heard. A, B, which is left and right. Mid side one. And mid side two. However, you can adjust the mic volumes using these faders right here. You can solo them. Mute them. You can also EQ individual mics. Then you have your panning knob. There's a new key button which lets you set your home key. I'll cover this shortly. You can control the tremolo expression level here. Assign it to a fader or knob on your MIDI keyboard or controller for live control or for editing in your MIDI editor. To do that, you right click it, choose the continuous control number. In this case, I set it to 14 and then simply click on the plus sign and it's assigned. Let's listen to that. And here you can control your effects, nail sound, and string release levels. ACZ has three playing modes. Keyboard mode, which it's set to by default, instrument mode, and gliss mode. Keyboard mode lets you play the zheng like a keyboard, giving you all the 12 notes of a chromatic scale spread across several octaves, rather than the zheng's five note pentatonic scale. Instrument mode limits you to a pentatonic scale spanning four octaves, which is how this instrument is tuned in real life. These notes within the pentatonic scale are assigned to the white keys between C2 and B4 for easier playing. In this mode, you can change the key center in this red square. This will shift the home key while maintaining a pentatonic scale.
I should warn you that because of the high number of samples required to create this instrument, the gliss and gliss down articulations are only available for C, C sharp, and D sharp keys. I was told that in future updates, the other keys will be added free of charge. However, because of gliss mode, I don't think this is a big issue. Gliss mode is a mode featuring a new type of playing technology created by Apple Sound, where a glissando is triggered by holding down two notes played in sequence. It can be played up or down. And you can have two glissandi playing simultaneously as in real life. since this is a two-handed instrument. The sound engine will automatically alternate between right and left hand samples when playing multiple glissandi, which gives you both a bright and mellow tone. This is probably the most impressive feature of this instrument. The speed of the gliss is determined by the interval of time between both notes. For example, if I space out my first and second note slowly, all the notes in between will play slowly. If I space it out quickly, the instrument will play all the notes in between quickly. It's very intuitive and fun to play. I think this would be a great tool to implement in their guitars for strumming. What do you think? That's just really cool. All right, the last thing I want to mention is the note bend engine. In previous libraries, AmpleSound used an old bend technology that would create an unrealistic bend sound. I can't explain what it is about it in a technical level, but I've heard the same type of fake bend in other sample libraries I own, so it's not just AmpleSound. In ACZ, AmpleSound uses physical modeling to simulate realistic bends. However, they're working on implementing a much better technology for future libraries. This is going to significantly improve bends and vibrato, and I can't wait to hear it in action. This is an amazing instrument and a huge step forward for Ample Sound. And even though I'm not familiar with the Zhang, nor will I likely use it in the type of music that I make, I think it's an innovative and stunning instrument with tons of expression and ease of use. Friends, thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're the first to watch my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I did a great job. Leave a comment telling me what you thought of ACZ and share this video with your friends. And please visit www.hifimidi.com to sign up for my free user area where you can download related project and MIDI files or sign up for the Virtual Musician Academy, which I'll be updating in December with more content as well as new products you'll be excited about. Take care.